next one see here another simplification question taken from an percentage topic oh what not people will do in this class right 14 percentage of 80 plus a dash percentage of 90 equivalent to 31.9 anil nayar's way of solving one is now one important key point which i wanted to update you now see here key point listen carefully key point these key points are extremely important if you change the question these key points will work now see here 8 plus 12 equivalent to 20 8 plus 12 equivalent to 20 this is the divisible by 4 these are divisible by 4 answer should be divisible by 4 because any number divisible by 4 it is 4 into something any number divisible by 4 it is 4 into something so it is 4 into a plus b if two numbers are divisible by 4 answer should also be divisible by 4 entire data interpretation all the calculation based problems i am going to use this concept extensively i am just going to give an introductory logic to you anil nayar's way of solving for me see here percentage is by 100 10 will go away 10 will go away so 10 will become 319 i hope it is clear over answer use the unit digit logic use the unit digit logic what is the unit digit logic for eights are 32 unit digit t t is 2 this is unit digit 9 so this should be unit digit 7 which one is giving you 7 these 6 nines are 54 6 nines are 54 4 it is giving you three nines are 27 unit digit seven so answer for this question is 23 now if you see this problem unit digit is giving you answer in least possible time before problem number three is giving you an answer in the fastest time it all depends upon the merit of the question it all depends upon the merit of the question now see here suppose another important observation another important observation suppose this question is 14 percentage into 8 plus x into 9 equivalent to 319 am i right x into 9 equivalent to 319 think logically some important very very important key points suppose if i take 16 this will become 14 into 8 plus 16 into 9 this is divisible by 4 this is divisible by 4 if i add two numbers which are divisible by 4 answer should be divisible by 4 19 is not divisible by 4 so first option eliminated based upon the first key point i told you that divisibility rule is another important tool to solve this problem divisible a 8 is divisible by 4 16 first option is divisible by 4 if i add two numbers which are divisible by 4 answer should be divisible by 4 not possible how can third fourth and fifth it is possible if it is 14 to 8 plus 18 or 26 or 22 into 9 22 into 9 stupid answer options this is an even number 18 is an even number even number into even number it is an even number even plus even it should be an even number 319 it is an odd number why third option fourth option and four fifth option it cannot be the answer i hope it is clear one question multiple concepts which will help you to solve any kind of question i am not going to solve only this question i am going to write down the approaches in the right hand side which will help you to solve the best way to learn from me is listen to my class make a shortcuts open any book of your choice you will be amazed at the speed at which you are going to solve these questions the second key point even plus even it is even i hope it is clear third key point third key point learnings i am writing down in the right side 9k plus a equivalent to b the digital sum of a and b will be equal if you add 9 or multiples of 9 if you add 9 or multiples of 9 to any number digital sum will not change if you add 9 or multiples of 9 9 plus 23 
equal and to 32. Digital sum is not changing. Question input it is 5. Answer in output also it is 5. 18 plus 32 equal and to 50. 18 is a multiple of 9. 32 digital sum 5. Answer digital sum 5. Answer digital sum 5. I hope it is clear. What is the next important key point? Whenever you get in simplification related problems. 9 into something. Digital sum is 9. 9 plus something. 18 plus something. 108 plus something. 20, 36 into something. Answer digital sum. In the input will be equivalent to answer digital sum in the output. Let us use that logic. It's very important to know the application part of it. Now see here. 9 into any number. Answer digital sum. Answer digital sum it is 9. Question and answer. Question and answer. Digital sum. Question and answer. If you see 14 into 8. First option. 16 into 8 plus 23 into 9 equal to 319. Equal to 319. 23 into 9 digital sum is 23 into 9. 23 into 9. What it is? 1, 2, not 7. And 16 into 8, it is 128. What is the digital sum? 335. Is it equal to 319? No. So the next option, sorry, it is 14 into 8. Second option, 14 into 8 plus 23 into 9 equal to 319. Now if you see, this number is multiplied by 9. This number is multiplied by 9. Any number multiplied by 9. Any number multiplied by 9. 14, 8s are 112. 8, 8, 4s are 32. 23, 9s are 307. This is 319. This is 319. 112 digital sum is 4. 319 digital sum is 4. Because the question mark is getting multiplied by 9, answer digital sum will be 9. So that is the reason the digital sum logic, digital sum logic at times will give you multiple answer options. I hope it is clear. I just tick marked 23 into 9. 23 into 9. 16 into 9. 16 into 9. These multiplied by 9. Any number multiplied by 9, digital sum will be 9. So in this problem, what are the logics that we discussed? I will write down the question here. 14 percentage of 80 plus x percentage of 90 equal to 31.9. 31.9. What are the concepts that we discussed? One is, we used a unit digit logic because all the answer options, all the answer options unit digits are different. Because all the answer options unit digits are different, I went with the unit digit. This should be there in your notebook. If the answer options unit digits are same, don't use the unit digit logic. All the answer options unit digits are different. What is the second learning? divisibility rule if the first number is divisible by 4 and the second number is divisible by 4 answer will be divisible by 4 what is the third logic we used it number tree logic number tree logic what is the number tree logic even plus even is even odd minus odd is even even plus odd or odd plus odd even both are odd a, B and C. The finally, what is the concept I used? 9K plus A equivalent to B. Digital sum of A and B, both are same. Digital sum of A and B, both are same. I hope it is clear. Now, if you see, there is a reason behind giving these two questions to you. In the previous question, go to the previous question. If, you, if I go to the previous question, please go to the previous question. 3, 3, unit digit it is matching. 6 and 9, if I square it, 4 square 6, 6 square 36, there is a chance on square unit digit could be same. So here, what are the concepts I discussed? Number tree I used it. Number tree I used it. 
then i used last two digits logic in the next problem i used unit digit logic and i also used digital sum logic and i also used digital sum logic i hope the idea it is clear each and every question we will do a proper analysis of the question to understand what to use which concept i hope it is clear